Hey friends, Stuart Isaac Carrier here. I'm in my office slash studio. And today I'm working on a fun project. I have this Pelican case that I use frequently. And I'm also a photographer. I do a lot of photo stuff. So this has kind of been my case for everything uh, photography and music related. Um, well, I've discovered that I don't love using this for photography on a day-to-day -day basis because uh, it's clunky um, and I don't have a ton of photography equipment and I also have kind of mismatched the box with photography equipment and audio music equipment. So my goal is to just make this a dedicated box that I'm going to take with me for MDing, playing keys specifically. Probably wouldn't take this anywhere if I'm just leading worship, but if I'm playing keys and I'm the MD, I'm going to have this box specked out with everything I would need, even stuff that I hopefully wouldn't need. But in case something went wrong and I needed a backup piano pedal or something like that, I'm going to have everything I need in this box. I'm going to show you what I put in this box and I'm going to show you why I'm putting it in the box and how I organize it. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first. Uh, this is a Pelican Air 1535 case. It's a really nice case. Um, it is, as it's implied in the title, uh, designed for air travel. So you can take this as a carry-on. I love that it has this little name card holder here. So um, you can see I kind of have a bit of everything in here. You even have some of my wife's photography equipment. Um, let's get a better angle, actually. Okay, that's a pretty good shot. So, um, currently, as I said, I have photography equipment in here, which this is gonna start living somewhere else. So, um, I'm just gonna take out all of this stuff. And I'm gonna think through a grid of what are the things that I always use when I'm playing keys, when I'm like an MD, and then what are the things that I have had experiences where items have actually failed me in a live environment and I would want to have a backup. So also you can see my beautiful fingernails that my niece painted for me on Christmas Day. Okay. One of the things that I love about this box is that it is totally modular. So I can reorient with these pins. I can change how this whole thing is laid out. Um, and I have done this a handful of times over the years uh, based on what I was using the box for at the time. So that's one thing that I really love. So I'm just going to take this all apart and we're going to start from scratch. Okay. Now, I also I was thinking through this last night. There are some things I'm going to want to purchase. Um because I've just discovered, you know, I go from church to church, I go from different environment, and sometimes uh, the places that I'm going don't have what you would commonly assume they would have. So, um, yeah, we're going to start from this blank slate, and let me talk about what I'm going to put in here.
Okay, so one thing that I have noticed also is I have a bad habit of just carrying a ton of bags with different things that I need in different bags. So um, it's my objective here to just, again, simplify everything, even my laptop um, or laptops if I need multiple. So one thing that I like about this bag or one thing that I like about this box is that this foam top in the in the top portion of the box is removable. So what I think I'm going to do is find a secure way to put a laptop sleeve like this into the top of the box and then my laptops will be in this box as well. So I'm going to put everything from my in-ears to, uh, you know, if I'm recording a YouTube video and I want to record my in-ear mix, um, uh, power supply, even a MIDI controller. So this is something, I don't use this all the time because I typically have a keyboard, like a secondary keyboard that I'm carrying with me. But, you know, maybe I'm going somewhere and I want to have just this and a primary keyboard, like a Nord or something, I don't need the secondary keyboard. So I love this guy. This is a Korg Nano Controller. Um, let's see, what else am I gonna put here? This is typically the case that I carry in my, it looks like a rifle case. In fact, I have commonly had people ask me if it is a rifle. When I'm walking into a church, I say, no, it's not a rifle. So, what am I going to carry in here? Um, definitely quarter inch cables, um, extra piano pedal. Obviously, also the a DI. Sometimes, so sometimes I'm playing somewhere um, and they don't even have an audio interface. So I might just use this simple Focusrite 2i2 as my interface to come out of my computer. Obviously, this is like a really simple setup. Uh, this wouldn't even have enough outputs for a metronome if I was doing MD stuff. Um, I'm also going to have a talkback switch. So I think I'm going to have two talkback switches. One would be the panic button. Um, I'll put links to both of these switches. In fact, I'll put links to everything that I'm using uh, in Amazon or from Sweetwater in the description below. So links to everything in the description below. Um, sometimes I'm playing somewhere and they don't have an interface. So I will use this guy. Um, and I will need a DI, like a stereo DI, because uh, I don't want to. I don't want to assume anything. My my objective here is if I'm going somewhere, I don't want to make any assumptions that they will have something that I need. So if I need it, I'm going to bring it. Um, and then cables. Now I don't want to have a hodgepodge of cables in here, but there are cables that are going to be necessary. And Gaff tape. If you're a musician and you're traveling, you should always have your own roll of gaff tape, in my opinion, because you never know when you're going to want some or need it. And of course, I'm going to put my in ear monitors in here. I love these in ears. I've never really talked about these, but these are West Tone Customs, five drivers in each ear. I've had them rebuilt once uh, with new molds, with new plastic, but I've had the same uh, electronics in these years for almost 10 years, and I love them. They're fantastic. They sound amazing, um, and I'm always relying on those. Now, unfortunately, sometimes in-ears stop working, or maybe my wife is leading worship with me. So I'm going to carry a backup pair. These are also West Tone. These are universal fit in-ears. 
uh, three drivers in each ear. I'll put a link to these um, in Amazon. So <clears throat> this is all of the stuff I'm going to fit into this box. I'm going to see here. It's, uh, it's a fair amount of stuff. Um, yeah, and then also I'm using my GoPro right now, but I'm going to have... I'm going to have uh, my GoPro in here as well as power for my GoPro. So <clears throat> to, sometimes I will power my GoPro unless it's a short set. I'll just rely on the battery. But I just use a simple Apple charger to keep the GoPro powered the whole time. <clears throat> Let's see. I also need to... I love these things. Uh, this is for my guitar. I need to actually fix this. Well, not fix it. I need to repair or replace these. So these are humidifier packs. If you're a guitarist, like if you have an acoustic guitar and you don't keep it humidified, shame on you. You need to have your guitar humidified. So um, these packs, <clears throat> depending on the weather, depending on the time of the year, they last anywhere from like uh, two months to could be up to five months, I would say. <clears throat> but when they start to get hard, you know it's time to replace them. So I need to do this actually before I forget. Right now in St. Louis, which is where I live. See, these are totally, these are like liquid gel. Right now in St. Louis, it is, well, it has been 10 degrees outside. And I just finished Christmas Eve services, so I was not MDing this year. Actually, I was leading worship. So I was using my acoustic a lot, and I noticed that these were getting very firm. So, yeah, I just want to keep my acoustic guitar humidified at all times. Can you get a little tricky? These are not expensive either. I'll put another link to this in the description below. <clears throat> oh my gosh. This is, uh, <clears throat> this is struggling to go in, into its little home. I've had this uh, Humidity, it's called Humidity Pack by Diodario. Dia and um, I've been using this for years. Also, I'm here to tell you you do not need to pay a lot of money to have good guitar tone. You just simply do not. And I'll tell you why. Uh, if you're like using a PA and you're being pl and you're just plugged in, like the work is mostly in the pickup. You can have a really nice acoustic guitar. Like you can pay thousands of dollars for an acoustic guitar and put a crappy pickup in there and it will sound like crap. Or you can do what I did. You can buy a cheap acoustic guitar, a nice acoustic guitar, but a cheap acoustic guitar. And I'm saying that because I think mine is decently nice. And I paid $200 for it. It was brand new. It's from a company called Orange Wood. I'll show it here in a second. <coughs> and um, I have been taking this guitar because I've been leading worship at a church <clears throat> here in St. Louis called The Crossing, and they have a lot of different campuses, and I've been taking this guitar uh, wherever I go as I'm leading worship and getting tons of compliments on the sound, on the tone of my guitar, and 
it's a unique looking guitar. You'll see it here in a second. It, but uh, again, I paid $200 for the guitar. The pickup, however, is an LR Bags Anthem, a, five, or a $400 pickup. Um, look at that. Look at that. So this right here goes in. I'll show you here, actually. Yeah, so hmm, where am I going to do this? I'll do it right here. Hello. So this is my acoustic. Not expensive at all. Again, this guy was $200. It's a parlor guitar from this company, Orangewood Guitars. I think this is probably upside down for you, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that pickup right there is the LR Bags Anthem. And it sounds incredible. I think it's the best acoustic guitar pickup I've ever heard. I have a dear friend who has a really expensive Martin, like an old antique Martin that's like $5,000. And he uses the same pickup. And I'm not going to say, people are going to hate me for this, but I'm going to say this in a sound system sounds, I'm not going to say it's just as good. But it's almost as good. So, yeah. Keep your guitar humidified is the moral of that story. That's not something I'm going to be putting in this box. I don't need to carry that with me. But, I do need to carry a lot of stuff. So, here we go. As you can see here, I'm going to, I'm going to find a way to mount this, probably with Velcro. And this can hold two MacBooks. I have my MacBook right here actually on my desk at the moment. But um, yeah, that's going to be up here. And this is going to be, this is going to be so nice. I'm actually really excited about this. So typically I would carry like this with my, la my laptop bag and this box. And then I would also, I always have my, my backpack with me. So I would be lugging around three, potentially even four things, including this case, if I need the keyboard. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So a lot of stuff. Um, all right, let's get started here. Whoops. Okay, so I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, I'm just gonna start putting stuff in here. And the things that I think I would need in, the, in an event that's like not, like I'm not gonna be grabbing it all the time, I'll probably put in the back. Um, I also don't want cause a short in the cable, so I'm going to make sure I leave room for cables like that to have an angle. Um, and I do actually have quite a few cables that I need to put. Also, I use cable ties on every single cord. Every single cable that I carry has a cable tie because I hate I hate working with messy cable systems. I just want everything to be super clean. Also, I love these short little cables. Sometimes I'm working where, you know, I don't need a cable that's super long. So this guy is three feet long. And that is gonna get me from my keyboard to my computer or from my computer to my audio interface. And I just don't need a super long cable. So, um, there's no need to have a, a super long cable, you know, just have something that's short. Now, typically 
I will have a long cable with me in the event that my keyboard is not super close to the computer. And this guy needs a cable tie. So we're gonna we're gonna throw a cable tie on him real quick. Just like that. It's that simple. Okay, so I've got these. So I've got, yeah, so I've got two of these short three foot cables, USB-C to, I don't know, that's the same cable that you'd find on a printer, but it's on the back of every keyboard, every MIDI keyboard. Um, and then two six foot quarter inch cables. Those are from Monoprice, uh, but I got them off of Amazon. Um, let's see, power and a USB cable for my GoPro. I'll put that in here, probably next to the cables as well. Um, okay, I've got my in-ears. I've got my backup in-ears. I've got this audio interface. I've got the gaff tape. I've got my GoPro, I'm using it right now, but let's say this has my GoPro in it. So, I don't know exactly how I want to do this. Let's. This is the thing that I love about this case, though. It is totally modular. And then these sections, you know, I can, I can uh, separate things off so nice and clean, just like this. Now I want to make sure I'm not sticking anything up because I don't want it to hit my computer since I'm going to start putting my computer in here. I think this is going to work well though. This is going to be good. And I really don't want things to rattle around, you know, I want it to all be snug, nice and tight. Okay, so the DI I do not have. Oh, I also need to think about my talkback switches. And those are at my friend's house. So I need to go get those. This is going to be a two-part video. Actually, no, it's going to be one video. But you're going to see some editing magic here. I might even have a change of clothes. This is good progress. Okay, so I'm adding um, an SM58 just to carry with me um, and a little clip. You know, again, something I just want to have in the event that I need it. I don't need this guy though. Where's my. So, look at that, Sennheiser mic clip for a Shure SM58. Okay, now, um, here's another thing I could consider. I have a bunch of extra in-ear cables, and I'm actually feeling quite strongly like this needs to be included in this box because Guess what? In your cables go bad. And sometimes they go bad at very inconvenient times. So, how are we going to do this? What are we going to do here? I don't know what my favorite solution is yet for this. As you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff. There's a good amount of stuff in here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to start putting the little pins in. Where did I put the little pins? Where did you go? Oh my gosh, what did I do with them? Where did I put the pins? Really? Did I put them in here? This is bizarre. 
I don't know where my pins went. What on earth? What on earth? Guys, this is totally bizarre. I have no idea where these things went. I mean, seriously. No clue what I just did with them. Here's my guitar. It doesn't help that this room is a mess. There's my guitar. Here's my keyboard. I mean, the room's not that big. Where could they have gone? I know where they are. Okay. All right. Way to go. Okay. We found the pins. Okay. We're going to start securing some of this. I think I can safely say that this is going to go here. Um, hmm, I think that piece might have been like that at some point. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had so many iterations of this box. Uh, but that's what I love about it, is that you keep, you know, as life changes, You just reorganize things. But I just want to make this as efficient as possible. You know, there's even room here for a bigger interface. I've thought about just getting a different, like um, the 4i4. That guy even has MIDI in it. That would be, that would be nice to have. I might put that in there sometime. I love the little red flags. Okay, so I've got in-ear cables here, backup in-ears. I might do it like this, just so that I will be sure not to poke my laptop. I can still put the GoPro there. Um, right now I'm just thinking through the items I do not have at the moment in my possession. I have the talkback switches and the direct box. I love quality cases like this guy. I just love this. <sighs> yeah, I may not be able to complete this project until I have until I have said items in my possession. Oh, this might work. might work quite nicely.
Ooh. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that indeed. Indeed, indeed. Okay. Oh, my son. You might hear him crying right now. My son is two months old. Or he will be two months old in just a few days. That little guy. Okay. I think I'm going to secure the gaff tape in here somewhere. Probably on the end, actually, because there's this little plastic knob. Hmm, I may have to just adjust that slightly. Yeah, that's good. And then that'll make a good spot for the pedals. I might even be able to combine <clears throat> the pedals with cables. Because the pedals are not super big. Um, ah, I also have to think about MacBook Pro power. So power adapter for the Mac needs to live in here as well. Yeah. This is going to work very well. This is going to be nice. And then I'm excited to get into a rhythm, into a system where I'm just going to show up, get my stuff ready super fast. Gonna be good. This is going to be good. Okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? So, with my computer, I have my hard drive. Let's show you. So, this, you've seen this before on other videos. This has my at all times, like my synth, all, all my, my samples loaded on that hard drive. So that's going to go in this front pouch right here, as well as any other dongles I might need. I just realized typically I have two MacBooks, so I, I'm going to have two MacBook Pro chargers in this box. So, yeah. This is coming along. This is making me happy. This is coming along nicely. Okay, so there's a tool that comes with the these cases that allows you to cut these guys down to size. Um, you don't want to do it too many times because the smaller they get, the less usable they become, but occasionally you need to do it. And I believe that tool I throw this in here because you never know. You just never know. Oh, you didn't see what it is. It's a headphone adapter, eighth inch to quarter inch. TRS tip ring sleeve. Okay. Okay, so I can't find my tool. But there's other ways of getting this done. 
with an X-Acto knife, with a box cutter, <clears throat> you can do the same thing. So, what I'm gonna do is I've seen, I can see here how many, how many slots I need. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut about four right there. The nice thing about the tool is that it guides you on a straight line through the through the whole thing through the whole section but i just have to cut very straight hmm, not bad okay so that should fit here excellent right there And again, I might get a bigger interface <clears throat> at some point, but for now, this will do. And I'll probably just put my GoPro there for now, unless I think of something else to put there. Now, I also want to have a headphone extension cable, um, just in case, you know, I may or may not need it, but again, this is about being prepared just as much as it is about making things simple. Okay, so power for the GoPro and the GoPro will fit right there. This is looking good. Again, I have to leave room in here for the pedals, which I think can just go vertically right over here in this section <clears throat> and then that stereo DI <clears throat> yeah stereo DI has to go in here as well which is about this size so I could potentially go vertical with these guys and leave room for another DI right there. Although the DI might fit perfectly right here. It's not this wide, I don't think. We'll see. <clears throat> I have to order that on Amazon. Okay. <clears throat> so I have another MacBook charger here. Um, this is looking good. This is looking really good. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, a little bit of an update, first of all. Say hi to my son. He's uh, kind of asleep right now. So, um, I'm making progress. I have got my box over here. So, I think this is how I'm going to organize it. Um, <clears throat> I really like this setup. Now, I'm going to do a little shopping on Amazon because I know that these Pelican cases come with, uh, well, some of them do. Some of them come with these modular inserts up here that you can kind of store different things in. So I'm going to see if I can find one of those that fits this case. Um, and I put a little another, another little divider here. We got good exposure here. It's a little dark. Okay. Um, I think the DI is going to go here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put the DI here. And I still have to figure out how I need to get another one of these and put it in here. And then the switches, the talkback switches. So I got a little Amazon shopping cart going on here. So first of all, um, I do not have one of these yet, but I'm going to get one. This is the Rolls Mute Switch. 
and then a, a radial pro di stereo stereo di i'm gonna get one of those and um yeah now we're gonna see if we can find one of those tops one of those modular top inserts let's see what we can find and amazon is amazing first of all i'm finding oh hey buddy i'm finding some things right off the bat that look interesting so so let me show you this so first of all if you've never bought a pelican case before you might be surprised to see how expensive they are they're not cheap um, you can get them on discount sometimes um, if you get lucky so yeah, that is kind of what I'm going for. That might be an option, um, but I'm not gonna buy this whole box. I just want the lid organizer. Um, now this is interesting. This is a lid organizer that's made specifically for this case. That's a little expensive. Um, and I don't see any pictures of the inside of it and there's only one review so that's not super promising and I also found this guy but that's not really what I'm looking for that's got way too many pockets and I need something to hold the laptop so yeah I'm gonna keep looking I might get creative and um, buy just like a sleeve like this and find some way to velcro it in um we'll see what i come up with this is definitely not going to get finished today though okay so day two of this uh video recording um maybe it was a week later maybe it was a month later maybe i got a haircut just kidding. It is tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. And I did get a haircut. Okay, so I have <clears throat> pretty much finished um, how I think I've got this set up. And I'm really happy with it. Um, all my cables are right here, including in-ear backup cables and um, primary in-ears, backup in-ears, both West Tone. And then this right here is uh, one of my talkback switches. I do not have my other one right now, but I will put a link to it. Um, this is where my MacBook Pro chargers are going to be. And um, yeah, so this guy is a really nice talkback switch. I like this because it has two outputs and it's really for a wired microphone. However, uh, I have some friends that have been really creative with these things and found a cool way to wire this kind of opened up the insides hook this up to a, an actual a piano like a midi piano pedal um, so that it can work for a wireless microphone for somebody out on stage um, so i might have to do a video I, in fact i will do a video on that sometime in the future just showcasing how that can be done um, and then obviously this hasn't been, I haven't even started on this yet, mostly because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to make it work. But my goal is to get two MacBooks in a sleeve up here on the top. Um, and I just don't have everything that I need at the moment to make that happen. So I will most likely be purchasing something on Amazon when the time is right but yeah this is pretty much it guys it's super exciting for me to have one box where everything that i need for a gig let's say or for a worship night or a sunday morning or whatever uh is right here and i don't have to bother with carrying a ton of bags anymore it's all one thing and i'm here for it so 
yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I don't know what I'm gonna call this video I don't know what I'm gonna call my box I have to come up with a name for this box um, whatever the name of this video is is probably what the name of my box is gonna be so yeah that'll be exciting anyway thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do that if you're enjoying it if you're liking the content also I love responding to people's comments so um, comment ask questions you can sh certainly share ideas with me on videos you'd like to see um, and yeah I love engaging with people in that way but God bless you and yeah make glorious music for the glory of our Lord and I just heard a really good quote from um, Luke Hendrickson I didn't memorize the quote but I'm gonna try to regurgitate it this is something that really moved my heart he said um, you know God created us in his image and God is a creator he's artistic and as musicians um, we have a responsibility to be creative and to make beautiful music to make beautiful artwork um, and if our heart isn't moving people's I mean, if, if our artwork isn't moving people's hearts um, we got to keep working at it because I think that's the goal I think that's the objective is to for number one to move our father's heart but then also to move other people's hearts we want to move people closer to him through music we want our artwork to move people closer to the Lord and that's one thing you'll hear me talking about is as a worship leader our job is not to look cool and be on stage our job is to minister to people our job is to minister to the Lord it's to minister to the congregations that the Lord has put in front of us to the people that the Lord has entrusted us with week after week or you know maybe it's a one-off night if you're just a worship leader maybe you do so, stuff like me where you're going from church to church and you you're not necessarily at the same place every single week um, we're supposed to be ministering to the people that come we're supposed to be ministering to them so yeah let's keep going after musical excellence so that we can glorify the Lord make beautiful artwork move people's hearts and just yeah have more fun I think it's more fun when music sounds good so I hope you've enjoyed this video God bless you and I'll see you soon